everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Apple released Mac OS Sierra. This is their latest version and they've reverted the name back to an old name of Mac OS from OS 10 or OS X as a lot of people have seen it. So now we have Mac OS and Sierra. It's Mac OS 10.12. So this one actually adds a few kind of major features and mostly minor features, but it is a free upgrade and some of the features don't work unless you have a 2012 or newer Mac, but let's talk about the major features first. So we have Siri. Siri has been added to the Mac. That's been kind of a long time coming, but let's, let's try it out and see how it works. Set an appointment for 2 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, I can create your meeting. Note that you already have an appointment at 2 p.m. Shall I schedule it anyway? No. To continue, you can confirm. Okay, then I won't create the event. So it knows I have an event. It works hand in hand with Siri on my iPhone or iPad and works just like Siri everywhere else. It can also search photos on the web and different things. Let's search for Zolotech on the web. Search for Zolotech on the internet. Here's what I found on the web for Zolotech. So it mispronounced my name, but it did find what I was looking for. It used Bing search by default, it looks like. And here is my website, YouTube channel, uh, Zolotech on the App Store, really old app, I don't know that it's even there, uh, Zolotech Facebook, Google+, and then some videos from YouTube, things like that. So that's pretty nice. You can also search for images across your, your device, uh, different things you have as far as documents. It should bring all of that information up. So it searches the file system and everything within the Mac. So that's really nice that they've added that. One major feature that I was really excited and, and works really well is actually copy and paste. And copy and paste has been around a long time. So what I'm going to do is open up this text edit and I've been playing around with this. So I'll go to my iPhone. You'll see I have my iPhone here. I'll go to the iPhone and I'm going to copy. We are making a video about Mac OS Sierra. So I'm going to copy that statement. So I have it copied here. And then I'm going to go to the Mac and I'm going to hit command V and paste it. You can do this in reverse as well. And the reverse does take a little bit longer for some reason, but it works almost instantly from the iPhone to the Mac. So that's pretty neat. That's something I've wanted to use over and over again. And I'm glad that they've added it. It's real simple, but it only works on 2012 and newer Macs. They've also added Apple Pay, and Apple Pay can be used across the web now and allows you to pay but authenticates through your iPhone. So if you want to order something through the Apple Store, you can do that, and it will just authenticate through the iPhone. Another thing they've added is the ability for all of your files to be saved across to iCloud. So your desktop can be saved like it is here. This is Apple's web page, and then it will show across to your iCloud Drive app on iOS, and you'll see it just how it is here. You delete something here, it will delete over here and vice versa. So it's a pretty nice little feature, uh, and I'm not sure that I'm going to be using it, but it's there. We'll minimize this and another feature they've added is if you have an Apple Watch under the security and privacy settings, you can actually use your Apple Watch to unlock your Mac. So if you have one or more, you can actually, as long as you're wearing it, unlock your Mac. So now you just open up the Mac or walk up to your iMac and it will unlock. You don't have to put in your password anymore. Take the watch off and it will stay locked or go far away from it, it will also lock as well. They're using a lot of really interesting things to make sure that it knows that it's in proximity and it's okay to unlock the Mac. It's a pretty interesting thing. And uh, Craig Federighi, that actually is the head of the software, had talked about it in length in an interview. And it's pretty interesting. If you're interested in that, you may want to search for it uh, just to understand a little bit better how it works. Let's close preferences and we'll open messages. We're in messages and I've clicked details and dragged this over here and it will now show the location of people. This is my brother. You can do not disturb and you can send individual read receipts just like you can on the phone. So that's really nice as well. It's also been updated so that it works properly with all the new emoji and stickers and things like that. Let's close it. And photos has been updated. Let's go ahead and open that. So photos is updated. You can see where these were taken. Uh, this is a picture of a little lizard on my car. And 
Photos has been updated in order to scan the actual photo so you can search for things like people, places, and things, cars, and animals, and dogs, and all sorts of things. Uh, depending on what you're looking for, you should be able to search for them. And it also uh, allows you to edit now a little bit better. So you can edit with APIs from other applications. So if I edit this and then I go to extensions, we'll go to more. And you'll see we have the option to add Pixelmator Retouch and Distort because I have that application. So we'll go back to Extensions and you'll see we can use Distort. And it will take just a moment and now it's distorting using the Pixelmator tool. But it's using it right within the Photos app. So it's really neat and it's just directly right in here. So anyone can use extensions within Photos itself. It's a pretty nice little feature. We also have the Memories feature that was really interesting. Basically, it creates memories based on all the different photos you have in the past. Now, there's other applications that do this, but since Apple keeps everything secure, it's all done right on the Mac. It's not sent back to Apple in any way. So that's really nice. That's all right here. And I took this photo today and you'll see the little gecko or lizard on my windshield of my car. So it's just a really nice update to the app. So let's go ahead and close that. And Aside from that, Apple has redesigned Apple Music and iTunes. You may already have this. Let's go to Music quick. I don't have Apple Music on here, but they've actually updated it so it looks more like the Mac and iOS are the same. And finally, there's not a whole lot more in here except for picture in picture. So if I go to Movies, you'll see here's a bunch of different movies. We'll go back to Shrek. We'll resume. I'll pause Shrek, and what you'll see is down here, you've got this little button here. Now you can do picture in picture, so we can just shrink this, keep this picture in picture, resize it, whatever we wanna do, drag it around, and we can keep working while having that on the side, just like we can do on the iPad. Uh, it's a really nice feature. iPad Air 2 and the Pros are allowed to do this and can handle that. And it works really well. And it works now on your Mac just to make things a little bit easier. So you don't have to have full screen or resize it. It just does it by itself. Apple has also made it easier for you to tab documents. So if you're using pages or numbers, you can throw those into tabs as well now. And that's pretty minor. But the other thing they've done is make it a little bit more easy for you to manage your storage, things like that. So maybe there's some files you haven't used in a while. They'll automatically back up to iCloud and keep your Mac free of clutter and then keep the files you use the most often right on your Mac and, and make that a little bit easier to manage all of that storage. You can turn those off, of course, if you don't like them. That's pretty much it for Mac OS Sierra. There's not a whole lot more in there, but it is free to download and is available now. Let me know what you think of Mac OS Sierra in the comments below. Do you like the name? Do you think they should have stuck with OS 10? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.